If you go with me to First Samuel chapter 7 from verse 7, when God answers like thunder. Can we say that together? When God answers like thunder. First Samuel 7, 7. And when the Philistines heard that the children of Israel were gathered together to Mispah, the lords of the Philistines went up against Israel. And when the children of Israel heard it, they were afraid of the Philistines. Verse 8. And the children of Israel said to Samuel, Cease not to cry unto the Lord our God for us, that he will save us out of the hand of the Philistines. And Samuel took a sucking lamb and offered it for a burnt offering, holy unto the Lord. And Samuel cried unto the Lord for Israel, and the Lord heard him. Verse 10. And as Samuel was offering up the burnt offering, the Philistines drew near to battle against Israel. But the Lord, somebody say, but the Lord, thundered with a great thunder on that day upon the Philistines and discomfited them, and they were smitten before Israel. Verse 11. And the men of Israel went out of Mispah and pursued the Philistines and smote them until they came under Betcha. Then Samuel took a stone and set it between Mitzvah and Shen and called the name of it Ebenezer, saying, He that too has the Lord helped us. The reading of the word is blessed this morning. Many of us want to come to our Ebenezer, but God has to answer like thunder first. One of the things you will notice is that The enemies were gathered. Israel, they were afraid. It's like it's the end of the road. And um, Samuel the prophet took a sucking lamb. That means that lamb was still taking milk from the mother. Hmm? I want you to imagine it was a very innocent lamb. It was still breastfeeding. You can't even want to imagine that you use that for sacrifice. That, that mother must have, when they took that lamb and they were slitting the throat of that lamb, I'm, I'm not sure the mother stayed there. You know, animals too have some feelings. Hallelujah. But there was something prophetic in what Samuel did. Thank God that they looked to the cross. But you and I can look back from the cross. Was slitting the throat of that um, sucking lamb and what was he saying every testimony of the lamb that was slain is a reminder to God of the sacrifice of his son say with me every testimony of the lamb that was slain is a reminder to God of the death of his son. Now, he was saying, we've made many mistakes around here. We've, we've blown it. But we're saying that Jesus is coming. And when he shows up, his blood will blot out everything. John 1.29, the next day, John said, Jesus coming unto him and said, Behold the Lamb of God, we take it away the sins of the world. Revelation 12, 11, and they overcame him by the blood of a lamb and the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto the death. Every time God plays back what happened to Jesus, you can play back in your mind what it means for for a, a nursing mother to take a sucking lamb and have it sacrificed. Do you understand that? Every time you're saying, I plead the blood of Jesus. Jesus has taken my place. In the mind of God, 
He remembers what he felt when Jesus was made sin for you. When Jesus was made sin for me. You know, it was so bad that God turned his back on Jesus and Jesus cried out and said, my, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? So what was Prophet Samuel doing? He was simply saying, whatever we have done wrong, God is coming to die our death. Child of God, may I impress upon you. May the Holy Spirit use these words and impress upon you, upon your generation. Wigglesworth said, there's nothing in me that the blood cannot cleanse. Because when you come into a battle sometimes in your life, when the enemy is beginning to fight you, he begins to dust up old files of things that have happened to you before. Maybe mistakes you have made, things you have not done right. How are they going to face the Philistines if they have so many negative things on their record? But you can pick up the blood from the mercy seat this morning and say, God's lamb has been slain. God's sucking lamb has been slain. God's holy lamb has been slain. And because he has been slain, I am standing and saying it is well with me. I want to say every conspiracy of hell against you will fall to the ground. Every spirit of accusation and condemnation against you and your family will fall to the ground. Every spirit of you are not good enough will fall to the ground. Every spirit that says you cannot have the blessing because of mistakes you make will fall to the ground. Every spirit that says your children were not perfect so they cannot get this and they cannot get that will fall to the ground. Every spirit that says you don't qualify in that office to go will fall to the ground. Because the blood that saved you, the blood that saved you was of the only begotten son. And for Samuel to bring deliverance to Israel, he had to take a lamb, a sucking lamb, an innocent lamb. I want to declare today that the highest sacrifice on the highest altar, by the highest being, the holiest of the holiest, the perfect one without blemish, has taken my place on the cross of Calvary. Therefore, every Every accusation every finger pointing of the devil against you against your children against your destiny I want to declare over you child of God this morning they are going to fall before you in the name of Jesus I said they are coming down before you in the name of Jesus your children are for sign and they are for wonder heaven is not mad at you because the lamb of god has taken your place your sins have been blotted out he said i am he that blots out your transgression and i do not remember them if you believe that wave and give the lord a shout of praise in the house of the lord this morning hallelujah please sit down for a bit glory to god Another thought, the burnt offering is a testimony that judgment and substitution have taken place in your behalf. Say with me, the burnt offering is a testimony that judgment and substitution have taken place in my behalf. In Hebrews, oh, Genesis 22, 13 and 14, and then you can write down Hebrews eleven nineteen. 19. When, I, when Adam, Abraham was about to sacrifice his son, <laughs> you know, a burnt offering, you don't eat from it. You burn it wholly. He put the boy on the altar. And then in verse 13 and 14, the Lord said, he should turn around. There was a ram caught in a thicket. There was a ram caught in a thicket. What happened to that ram? It was burnt holy. You and I will never know what it meant to go to hell. What it meant to be separated from God. The anger of God for the sin of man from the first man to the last man. Everything that God felt of judgment, 
was transferred to the Lamb. I used to see one, I don't know if it's a, I used to see one um, thing people do. Somebody will slap you and then you will slap back. Have you seen that thing? Why do people do such crazy things? It's your face for slapping. Bah, then you start, bah. If God judge you, if God slaps you, you will cease to exist for eternity. <laughs> Somebody whose leg, the earth is his footstool, where he rests his leg, then he will slap you. Only Jesus could take that judgment. Only Jesus could have taken the judgment. It was terrible. So what was Samuel saying? Just like the ram took judgment and substitution, this bond sacrifice, our judgment and our substitution has happened. Sometimes people will tell you, oh, well, this is happening in your life because well, 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 well. God, is, God is punishing you. Can you serve God's God punishment? If God punishes you, you will cease to exist. His anger has gone to Jesus. Oh, you cannot get this blessing. No, you can get it. Because his anger has gone to Jesus. Hallelujah. So he was saying, the Philistines are against us. Things are really rough. Substitution and judgment in their case will happen in the future. And to be good enough, judgment has happened for you. Amen. Where they are stealing, killing, and destroying, don't even think about it. It will not come near you. Amen. Some of us allow one incident we drop our faith. Maybe something happened, you don't understand. Say, ah, I thought the blood, the blood of substitution and judgment has happened. It has happened. Satan is just trying one or two tricks. Don't let the lies of the devil change what Jesus has done in your behalf. Hallelujah to Jesus. Amen. So I say, Philistines, you have gathered all right. Just lower the volume, please. Philistines, you've gathered all right. But judgment has happened in my behalf. Whenever they gather, you can testify that judgment has happened. I said, whenever they gather, you can testify that judgment has happened. You know, in the land of Goshen, in the land of Goshen, the Jews deserve to die as well because they also sinned. Why didn't they die? They roasted that lamb in fire. He roasted that lamb in fire. They roasted that lamb in fire. So judgment could not touch them. I want to say to you in this season, the judgment has passed from you. Amen. I want to say in this season, the judgment has passed from your children. Amen. In this season, when they are losing it, you will not lose it. In this season when they are saying it is not enough, it will be more than enough for you. Yeah. In this season when people are begging for bread, you will not beg for bread. Yeah. In this season when doors are closing, your own doors will be opening. Yeah. In this season when people cannot afford it, you will be able to do more than afford it. Yeah. Because the Lord is your shepherd, you shall not want. I said, because the Lord is your shepherd, you shall not want. 
You believe that lift your hand and give the Lord some praise in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. The burnt offering means total surrender has taken place and your obedience is complete. The burnt offering means total surrender has taken place and your obedience is complete. Romans 12, 1, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not drunk with wine, and be not conformed rather to this world, but be ye transformed by the reign of your mind, that ye may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So I beseech you therefore, brethren, present your bodies as what? A living sacrifice. Luke 9.23 and he said to them all, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. What does this mean? Taking your cross daily. Not Sunday, but daily. In back in the time of Jesus, when somebody was carrying a cross, was going to a place of death. So the imagery here is that every day you need to take your cross every day. Your flesh needs to die daily. Hallelujah. So what was Samuel saying? Through this bond sacrifice we are saying there's no part of our lives that Jesus cannot take control. Through this bond sacrifice, we might have made mistakes before, but Lord, we're coming today and saying there's no part of our lives that the enemy is going to take control. Hmm. You know, many people don't understand God. God opens our eyes, we begin to see things in the Spirit. May Lord help us. Listen to me very well, the point I'm about to make to you. The Christianity that causes your flesh nothing is zero. Let me tell your neighbor that. The Christianity that causes your flesh nothing I didn't hear you Amen? It causes your flesh nothing. Jesus said, take the cross daily. In the bond sacrifice, everything is consumed. Bond. Bond. You want God to answer like thunder? You have to be able to say, my body is the temple of the Lord. There's nothing too hard for me to give up for this God. Hello? There's nothing too hard for me to give up for this God. So there's nothing too hard for me to give up for this God. Let me come to the people celebrating today. There's nothing too hard for me to give up for this God. Can I hear you say it again? Let me come to this section. There is that section. There is the other section. There, there is that last section. Those two sections there. There is that's a bond sacrifice. You don't give God leftovers. Now we're in a season of celebration. You know, some people say, mm. ah, program self. 
If I go one day, I don't try for them. <laughs> Don't you, neighbor, you are trying for yourself, not for me. <laughs> How many transports will I use to go to the place safe? The road safe. But let's imagine that your, the president of your nation says, I'll be here from Sunday next week to Sunday the following week. Every day I will be in this church by five o'clock. How many of you will come one time? How many of you will come every day? How many of you will come the day is not even coming? Even people you did not invite will come say, is that like, the man did not invite you say, he's are you sure he's coming? To ah, I've not seen the man before. Pastor, can you are ready I can shake the man? <laughs> but then Jesus, the Lamb of God that died a horrible death for you, he says, I'm going to be there every day for a week. And you say, well, I just don't have time. I think that's the time market will sell well. I think that's the time this one will do well. I think that's the time the other one will do well. In fact, that is the time that normally sleep. That time of the day, market, they flow. That time of the day, the road man go jump pack. That time of the day, said, bus goes cars. And they still give you free bus to come. Don't your neighbor and say, pastor is preaching to you. If you did this smart, talk to the neighbor and it's to you too. Your Christianity must cost something. When Adam Abraham put that boy on the altar, I'm going to go to Colinius after this. But when Adam Abraham put that boy on the altar, it's as if he was dying himself because he has waited 25 years or so for that boy to be born. When he placed him on that altar, it was like God, you can kill me if you like. Do you think when God placed us on the altar, he was smiling? He turned his back on him. You think he didn't hurt God? You see, people have been preaching this funny Christianity that is, God will just bless you. God will just bless you. God will just bless you. He said, would you go with him outside the gate, bearing his reproach? You're a young, beautiful girl. The guy said, I won't marry you. I said, I'll sleep with you. He said, we have to test if you can be pregnant. Are you a machine they bought in the market that they are trying to test if you will work? Goodbye world, I stay no longer with you. Goodbye pleasures of sin, I stay no longer with you. I've made up my mind. To go God's way the rest of my life. I've made up my mind to go God's way. There are things you just make up your mind. Listen to me, you want to walk in the glory of God? We'll be talking a lot more during this convention. Many people are in the outer court. Just, they don't want to go beyond that. The priests are helping them to do everything. They even pay people to pray for them. But for them to go deeper in God, ah, oh, well, it's going to cost me. You have to cost your flesh something. When you begin to experience the glory, you will never want to walk away from the place of his presence. Is there a better amen in the house of the Lord today? So it's going to cost you something. Let's look, go to Acts chapter 10 about Cornelius. You know that story from verse 1 to 4 or 5 there about. The angel came to him and the point I'm making is that your offering, your burnt offering, becomes a memorial before God. So I'll say, my burnt offering becomes a memorial before God. What happened? The angel said, your prayer, your fasting, and your arms have come before God as a memorial. Every time you turn down one thing and you vote God's way, heaven marks something for you. Some people say, you are lucky. Oh. Things are just working for you. But they forgot when Joseph was in prison. They forgot when Joseph refused to go with Potiphar's wife. They forgot when they put him in a well. They forgot when they chained him. They forgot when they dragged him. Heaven was marking for him. Heaven was marking for him. Heaven was marking for me. He heaven is marking for me. Heaven is marking for me. Heaven is marking for my family. Heaven is marking for my children. Heaven is marking for you. Heaven is marking for you. Then one day, 
slowly surely but suddenly one day you will be the karisto paramananaya god will send the helper of destiny your way suddenly one day god will send the helper of destiny your way uh, uh, joseph went to bed he woke up in the morning from the dungeon a prisoner but by the time he was going to bed within 24 hours he was a prime minister i want to prophesy over somebody's life heaven has been seeing your sacrifice your burnt offering just like cornelius i want to pray and i want to believe and i want to declare that before this year is out the destiny helper is going to show up the miracle you are looking for is going to happen it will happen for you restoration is coming i said it's coming for you it's coming for your children god is about to do something god is about to do something god is about to give a lifting up god is about to give a lifting up the ceiling will be broken you will go to another level the sky is not your limit heaven is your destination god we give you glory glory upon glory lifting upon lifting oh nobody can serve the god of jacob in vain i say you cannot serve the god of jacob in vain the day of compensation is here if you believe it give him a loud shout of hallelujah listen to me my friend god may give you a project that the people think is bigger than you god may give you a project people say you cannot do it people have told me things like that in the past i don't have the power of my own but i know the one that has the power when he opens the door no man can close it and when he closes it no man can open it in the day of his compensation you don't need nobody you need his presence you need those he has sent to you and those he has sent to you god will use them to lift your head lift up your your heads all ye gates and be ye lifted ye everlasting doors and let the king of glory come in who is the king of glory but the lord who is mighty in battle i declare over you there's a lifting i said there's a lifting when there's a casting down that's a lifting up you believe that give him a shout of hallelujah <laughs> glory to god It's only God's type that you don't have. Man will go. Man will come. But he remains the same. The lion and the lamb. The world of the father. Forever you remain. The same. The lion and the lamb. The word of the Father forever you remain. This, uh, your bond offering is an act of worship that brings supernatural intervention. Genesis 22, 4 and 5. Your bond offering is an act of worship that brings supernatural intervention. Genesis 22, verse 4 and 5. Then on the third day, Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw the place afar off. And Abraham said to, unto his young men, Abide ye here with the ass, and I and the lad will go yonder and worship and come to you. The outer court believer is priest dependent. The priest must have been killed anyway. The priest must have been sacrificed. The priest must have been. Many people in the church have taken us back to that. Where the Christian is not able to go into the presence of God by himself. But you are going to go there. Because that is your destination. Sometimes in obeying God, you look like a mad person to other people around you. So why are you giving so much of your time? Why are you giving so much of your money? Why are you giving so much of your energy? Why are you giving so much of your talent? Abraham didn't give so much. He gave everything. He was going to kill his boy. He said, I and the lad, we go and worship 
and return. Every time you give in surrender to God, you will return with a greater blessing. It's an act of worship. It's an act of Father. I'm giving you my best. In the season we're living in today, with all the crisis, all the challenges, are you giving him your best? Are you willing to give him your best? In good time, in bad time, are you willing to give him your best? Worship is not just lifting hands. Worship is what you do with your life after church. Worship is saying it's not convenient. It is challenging. But I'm still going with God. Worship is saying there may be nothing in my pocket, but I'm still going with God. There may be so much pain around me, but I'm still going with God. That, that, that kind of burnt offering, it rises before God as a sweet aroma. When Noah offered a burnt offering before God, the Bible said God, God inhaled that thing and God began to prophesy. He said seed time and harvest time will not cease. I will not destroy the earth again by water. When our life pleases God, there are things God will speak over you that he won't speak over another person. So I want to encourage the Corneliuses in the house and all those people who have been faithful in serving God with their time and, and, and all people making sacrifices uh, and all the Marthas and all, and, 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 and all those people who have been giving their best to God. I want to say to you, your day of reward is not behind you. Your day of reward is in front of you. And I want to say to you, I keep saying this in my spirit, that before we finish this year, something is going to land like a carpet in front of you. An opportunity, God will be compressing time and compounding your benefits that you, will, you yourself will look at it and say, how manage, how manage, how, 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 how manage did I get this? But you will know in your mind that it's not by power, it's not by might, but by the Spirit of the Lord. If you are receiving that word, I want you to stand to your feet as I pray for you this morning. I'm going to pray for you this morning that God will visit you, that the God of heaven will breathe upon you. I'm going to pray for you this morning that the fire of God will come, that that God will change your story. That God will change your story. Everybody who has been behind you say, mm, it's not going to be possible. She will never get married. She will never have that job. She will never have that blessing. That house will not be built. And that project will not be done. I want to say, and I want to testify, that when God begins to breathe in the aroma of your burnt offering, your living sacrifice to him, he is already spoken concerning you, that where there is a casting down, there shall be a lifting up, that your project will not close. Your project will not close. Your your womb is open your womb is open the Lord will do a new thing and so father in the name of Jesus for everybody on the sound of my voice and those watching online we thank you because Jesus has paid the price in our behalf we thank you for, for substitution for forgiveness we present ourselves this morning in worship we say there's a total surrender of our lives and because of this you are going to thunder from heaven you are going to thunder from heaven. You will answer like thunder against every work of the enemy. Father, I speak it over our church family, over everybody under the sound of my voice, every man, woman, boy, girl, everybody under the commission, I speak it over you that God will thunder from heaven because of the blood of Jesus and our surrender to him this morning. Therefore, every limitation, every spirit of backwardness, every spirit of poverty, everything running in your generation that is negative, every tree God has not planted in your life, everything that has come to steal, everything that has come to kill, everything that has come to destroy by the faith of God let there be light in your darkness I say let there be light in your darkness I say let there be light in your darkness lift up your heads O ye gates be ye lifted ye everlasting doors and let the king of glory come in and who is the king of glory but the Lord who is mighty in battle by the faith of God this morning let every gate against you be lifted every gate against your children be lifted every gate against your destiny be lifted every gate 
gate that limits you be lifted in the name of Jesus. Let the fire of God, let it consume every work of the enemy. Let it consume every work of the enemy. Wherever that they gather not by me, they will begin to fall for your sake. In the name of Jesus, I declare by the word of the Lord today that a thousand may be falling by your side and ten thousand by your right hand, but they will not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked. The God that answers like thunder is going to answer every enemy of yours. I said the God that answers like thunder is going to answer every enemy of yours. I say all your enemies, they have been smitten on the cheekbone in the name of the Lord Jesus. Your enemies are cast down. They are underneath your feet in the name of the Lord Jesus. I sprinkle the blood of Jesus. I sprinkle the blood of the highest one. I sprinkle the blood of the one that has no beginning. I sprinkle the blood of the one that has no ending. I sprinkle the blood of the ancient of days. I sprinkle the blood of the Alpha and of Omega. And I declare over you that you don't owe the devil nothing. Your children don't owe the devil nothing because the highest sacrifice on the highest altar by the highest being with the highest name has been made in your behalf and you will not pay with your life what Jesus Christ has paid for with his blood because the lamb is without blemish you are without blemish God is looking at you through the blood it is well with you going out it is well with you coming in wherever there is evil they will pass wherever there is evil they will not find you by reason of the blood of Jesus today I stand on this altar and I declare over every one of you who is a member of this commission it is well with you the coming year will be great for you 2024 will be a year of compensation compensation going out compensation coming in compensation in the city compensation in the field compensation on the land compensation in the air compensation in the sea wherever you find yourself the God of heaven will fight for you the God of heaven will fight your battle I said the God of heaven will fight your battle I call for increase I call for increase you shall increase to the right you shall increase to the left enlargement on the side enlargement around all around enlargement is our portion in this house in the name of Jesus and if you believe it give him an amen in the house of the Lord that is the prophetic prayer go and listen to it again and, and join faith in Jesus name